Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Morning, everyone. Good morning. Hi, Avni. Hi, how are you? I'm well. How are you? Pretty good. I'm doing well. Good. Hey, Jess. Whoops. Je I'm sorry. No, One no. question. Do you know whether Carl's going to be coming to the LCAB dinner? You know, he hasn't mentioned it. I can double check, though. Yeah, because we're going to do this. We're going to give uh, Albert an award. And so, I mean, if anybody was close to Albert, it was Carl. Okay. Okay, thanks. I'll let him know. Okay. Hi, Bob. Hi. I thought I was on, but I hadn't turned on my video or my mute for a minute there. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Lang calling in. Good. Hi, Lang. Hey. Hi, Hi Robert. Hey, Lang. Good morning. Hey, everybody. Let me see. There's supposed to be a look at me. Um, and we mm -hmm. are at quorum. Excellent. Okay. All right. Stags join. Oh, Stag, hi, good morning. Good morning. Okay, we've got quorum. Okay, Avni, let me call the meeting to order. Do you have an agenda for this morning? Yes, let me pull it up. Okay. okay. Are, you, are you able to see it? I'm able to see it, thank yes. you very much. Okay, this is a special meeting of Land Conservation Advisory Board. Um, and let's get started. I'll call the meeting to order. I'd like to approve the agenda uh, for this morning. Um, can everybody see what we're going to do? It's going to be a very short meeting. Yes. Okay. Could I have a motion to approve it, please? Approve. Uh, so motion. Okay. Whoever was that was second, please. <laughs> second. Okay. Thanks, Joel. All right. All in favor, just uh, are there oh, yeah, all in favor, just say hi. Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. All right. Um, and we do have minutes from last week. I don't think I've seen those yet, Avni. Okay. I thought I sent them out, but I'll send them out again. Um if you're not comfortable voting on it, we can vote on it the next meeting. Okay. If we could do that, please. Yeah. All right. Are there any members of the public with us today? Okay. There are not. So let's go ahead. And this is the vote for the Warren Wilson College easement. Uh, and this is presented by Southern Appalachian Highland Conservancy. And I'm going to turn this over to Avni. Do you want to take the take it from here, or do you want me to stick stay with it? Um, I can take it from here. Um, yeah, we need to know about the valuation and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, good, 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 good. So we um, use the regular, as you already know, we use the regular evaluation or the standard evaluation instead of the agricultural evaluation uh -huh. system, just because this has so many different um, conservation components to it that we thought it would be, be best suited for this one. Um, and so we... I tallied up the scores. We had um, six people who filled out the evaluation, um, which is right about what we usually get. And um, the project scored a 95, which is um, the highest that um, any of our projects have ever scored. Um, and then you can see the other um, easements here that you voted on in the past, the scores there. Okay. Um, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Lang and Stag, I know you're on your phones. Can you see this? I am not able to see it, but I'm hearing everything she is saying clearly. Okay. All right. Um, very quickly, uh, the Warren Wilson um, uh, easement scored a 95.7. And uh, just as an example, the light center that we just approved scored an 86. 
and the Lake Eden Prever Preserve, which we've uh, approved a couple months ago, was a 77. So as Omni said, this is the highest score that we've done. <clears throat> and uh, it's very significant and I'm glad it came back this way. Okay, good, Avni, uh, go ahead, please. Um, yeah, and that, so that's basically all. Um, if there are any more questions or if there are any discussions, um, we had um, Joel and Bob Turner come out on the site visit. So if any of them wanted to speak to the project, um, feel free. This is the time, okay. Um, Joel and Bob, do you have anything to say about it? I hope it was a wonderful time. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, I was very impressed. Good. With what's being set aside, I think it's essential, you know, to the county. And uh, basically, uh, yeah, I think it'd be a big plus. Good. Robert? I, I, would, I would second that. The... the uh property is spectacular the views are incredible there's a lot of water um the management currently on the property you know has uh, been uh top notch and uh yeah it's 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 a great project and i, I really believe in it so, and the scores show that uh, everybody i think sees the value here yeah 95 well, think, is incredible that's an yeah. incredible score well a lot of us who have been around a long time um, we're very concerned about this property in that area of town. Mm -hmm. um, and I think when that development went in very close to it, I don't, I, yeah, anyway, it's, there's a development that came in that kind of shocked us all to our senses. So I'm glad that Warren Wilson chose to do this. And I'm glad Southern App stepped up. Okay, anything else? Jess, somebody has joined you. Yes, um, I want to introduce Ann Hamilton. She's interning with me, with me this summer, and she was able to come on the site visit. I'm excited she's able to be here this morning to hear this vote. Um, and also, my son is here this morning. We've got a staff celebration event today, and he's coming along for the ride. So we've got a we've got a full house over here. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Okay. Any other comments on this before we vote? Well, one. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I guess I just would like to note that, um, and Bob and Bob or Bob and Robert are probably both aware or are aware that um, there is a request through the uh, bond uh, funds for trails uh, at Warren Wilson, and I'm presumably on some of that property. And I, I'm not necessarily overly concerned about it, but I, uh, we discussed this yesterday in the uh, past Re lands recreation meeting. There just is a lot of parsing and parceling of projects and just want to make sure that we're all aware of that uh, so that when we do approve something, we're not uh, making a decision or thinking about it without having as much information as possible. Yeah, that's right, Matt. So I think that they're talking about $130,000 for to get the trail. Maybe 141. Was that? I think it was 141, but I could be wrong. I don't have it in front of me. Yeah, so so that is Dave. Uh, I think it was Dave at the project talked about that. That's just to get it up to speed, and then they'll continue to maintain it yeah. uh, from moving forward. But uh, yeah, uh, I think that's a benefit really to have an easier access for the public to use it. There, the land is wide open for public use, and that's one of the beautiful things about this project is that the conserved land that people have already had a lot of access to and will continue to in the future, no matter what happens with school in 50 years whatever that land is conserved forever so that's right. a wonderful thing yeah yeah okay so so matt let me just understand you're saying that this request is is an overlay on top of what southern app is doing well i and maybe robert or bob could clarify my understanding is that they're i mean they're requesting money for trails within the warren wilson land area which my understanding is that some of that land would be the land that is subject to this easement. And I think Jess is right. Is yeah. Acknowledging Jess, that. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not, you know, and I doubt that, that whether we approve the easement or not, that would impact whether they still would want to build the trails. Is that correct, Jess? Yes. So they have um, a system of about 25 miles of trails on campus. And I 
want to say the vast there's a, there's one 170 acre section that won't be subject to the easement at this time it's a possible phase two and some of those trails are on there but the majority of the trails are on easement areas yeah. um i haven't seen that proposal dave mentioned it i know that they've made the request I, as I understand it, it's not cutting new trails, it's improving and um, trails that are existing, I think, but I'm not positive. Got it. Yeah, um, I think that's right. And so uh, to be clear, so these funds that we're requesting are for the transaction costs for the easements, but those funds, the college itself is requesting um, to help maintain the trail system that they've made open to, you know, residents of Buncombe County for decades um, without any recompense for that and um and Dave has mentioned you know that they've been as the it, they've been very clear about the financial straits that the college is facing and he's had people suggest multiple times that they should charge for entry but then the risk and the um expectations of maintenance that that creates um put the college at greater liability um and so they've decided to go this other way I mean keeping free public access to all their trail systems, but requesting some support to help maintain that and get that into a better shape. Okay. Who maintains those trails right now? It's mostly the college crews. So uh, it's a working college and there are various crews. There's a forestry crew, I think is mostly the ones keeping those trails open. Okay. All right. And uh, what about what about liability of the public on those properties? That is uh, outside of my purview for sure. That's that's definitely a Warren Wilson question. But um, I know they've done the analysis that charging changes their liability. I was gonna yes, I'm sure they've it decided, does. Yeah, they've decided yeah. not to do that. They do have signage, um, like just passive signage that says, you know, that the public's welcome. Um, I know there's certain things with if you trespassers versus invitees there's different liability for those things and different expectations but um they've done their own analysis and chosen to make their trails public and open but um but without going that next step of charging okay excellent any other questions or comments matt thanks for bringing that up i think that's good information and yeah, i think I just want to happen make sure it's come up on the other side with some other projects as far as in the passive land situation, much more gray, it seems like from that conversation. But um, I think that was just a good note so that we're all aware. Right. And I think this is going to happen a lot in the future. Oh, yeah. Um, be because of stewardship, the upgrade and the maintenance and all those things of any of these passive rec uh, properties, that's going to be that's going to be an ongoing issue. So that's something we need to be aware of. Okay, are we ready to vote? Okay. Um, uh, would somebody please make a motion to accept the Warren Wilson uh, request? I'll make a motion. This is Matt to approve okay. the Warren Wilson request. Thank you, Matt. And Bob Gale is- I'll second. second. <laughs> That's right, Bob, thank you. Okay. Um, any discussion, any continued discussion? All right, if not, Please raise your hand and just say aye, or let's make sure we have eyes. Aye. 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 Okay. aye. okay, I heard Stag and I heard Lang, are you there? I am. Do y'all hear me? Uh, we can hear you, yes. Yes, okay. I voted aye. Okay, fine. Um, are there any nays? Okay, this motion passes. And um, Yay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Way yeah. to go, Jess. Good Thank job. You. Yeah, Jess. Get out the balloons. Yeah. Yes. We're so excited. Thank you. Okay, good. Um is Southern App gonna put out or is Warren Wilson gonna put out any kind of a press release? Yes, they have done a press release. We um we typically don't do anything until a project is completely closed yeah, um, yeah. and maintain strict confidentiality. But because the college wants to leverage this for further fundraising potential, um they we we've been collaborating with them. They well, we, we put out a press release. Wait a just a minute, bug. Um <laughs> And they, um, it was picked up by Mountain Express in the most recent um, iteration and also by Black Mountain News. Um, Excellent. Just kind of short blurbs saying that the college 
Board of Trustees voted to protect, uh, protect 600 acres, that they'll be partnering with us, and that there's miles to go before we sleep on it. Okay, good. That's all good. All right. Um, Avni, is there any other business we need to take care of, or can we adjourn this special meeting? Um, uh, it... I have one question. Any update on the dinner? Um, yes, we've... I think nothing's changed since our last update um, last week. We have um, the food, the venue, our, um, we've sent out invites to all the landowners um, and uh, we're continuing to get RSVPs and we're coordinating with um, Jess and our land trust on any easements that have closed in the last year. Um, and yeah, if there are any more updates, we'll reach out and let you know. But um, yeah, just continuing the planning process. Mostly everything's underway. It's just this, or here waiting for um, RSVPs now. Okay, <clears throat> good. Nancy, Nancy, this is Bob here. I have one other uh, thing to to ask. If if you need to, you're you're moving this along quickly. If you need to go, uh, we don't have to talk about this now. But I just wanted to know if anybody's aware of the the bond funds that are currently available now, because the county I just found out yesterday in the Pastor Breck. Uh, meaning that the county has already kind of committed almost 20 million from the 30 million uh, open space bond. And uh, they voted last night on another 10 million. They were going to vote. I don't know how that vote resulted, but that leaves another 10 million left that I think is split between our group, Passive Rec, and uh, Ag, right? It's got the other, the other group distributed yeah. or voted on these funds. So yeah. uh, splitting that even, that's 3 million now that suddenly is available to us versus what we thought might be around 10 million. Is, it, is anybody aware of any of this uh, commitments that the commissioners have made already? Are you, I mean, have you heard anything? Do you know? No, I think um, they, so they never um, officially kind of split it yeah. between all three buckets because I think they wanted to allow for the flexibility for something like this where like passive recs or passive rec or greenways might um you know certain projects would end up taking more money or might require more money um and I mean at this point I think we haven't been told specifically of um yeah, they haven't really shared how things will pan out. It's kind of just we request the money as projects come in um, and as we have projects. And I mean, it's, yeah, that, yeah, I think. Well, it seems like there needs to be more transparency or more, uh, we mean yeah. more, there, there's, we have right in front of Passive Rec right now over $10 million in funding right. requests. That would suck up the rest of it. I mean, this money is going fast. Yeah. And I was just surprised uh, well, to hear yeah, I, I think there was at one point um, talk about proposing a second bond, you know, because there's there's obviously a need, but um, I don't think that has officially been brought forward yet. And so and it just kind of depends on how things go over the next couple of years. Bob, you had some comments? Yeah, um, to add to what uh, Bob's saying, I was in that meeting too. Um, we were all rather surprised that um, these two projects, uh, one was pretty obvious and the other had, had a little more, more issues about it, I guess, sort of. But um, we were surprised that they were sort of approved and the commissioners can do what they want. That's the thing we we, we know and have learned. But uh they, th they put these in and one of them didn't go through the proper protocol of procedures that we've spent months and months and months setting up. So we were like, are we, wa we were kind of like, are we wasting our time doing all this if they're just going to suddenly do this? So uh, we made that very clear to the staff and um, Jill, who's the representative going to the meeting, was going to make it uh, as clear as she could to, to the, the commissioners that we were surprised, to put it um, somewhat mildly. Um, uh, and we hope that um, they listen to all that and realize, well, we can't just keep robbing, pulling these funds out from our subcommittee, what we're looking at. But we did have 11 properties, as Bob said, and uh, they added up to about 10 million. And 
we could we had enough bob if i understand we i remember right we had enough to fund them all if we just did but we can also fund partial amounts that were requested yeah, anyway bob, that would use up all the funds including for this committee and the for the other committees the other groups yeah, that, yeah, so yeah, we, that we could right. suck it all up in just our passive rack right right and of course well, we where don't are these really... where, where are these requests coming from uh, if they're not coming through the front door of your subcommittee good, did good you question get on... yeah i don't well, know bob get... go ahead they go directly to the county to start with before they get to us. And yeah. if the commissioners apparently had a couple that were uh, flagged that they liked, which um, were Deaverview Park and uh, this Ferry Road property that are both county projects or prop could be county properties if everything works. But in context, we thought that this money was going to be spent over, say, a three-year period. Yeah. And now we're finding that it may be all gone in the first year. And I guess one part where I'm a little confused on is, you know, we've always had a budget allocation for land conservation. And I guess I was always, always under the impression that this 30 million was going, a, a bond would be separate of that, but it looks to me like it's included in it. Yeah. So, so you're saying that the open rec uh, bucket of money is being applied to the line item of land conservation that's in the budget. Uh, well, I don't know that for sure. That would be a question for the county. Yeah. No, it, it's so right now they're doing, they're still going through the bu budget process for next year. Um, but as of now that the bond fund is separate from our special program fund, our conservation easement fund. So that's where we get, I get confused because in the presentation we saw yesterday at Passive Rec, they included that there was $5 million in conservation easements that had already been allocated that had come out of the bond. Mm -hmm. And so if we've got a separate line item, I don't under necessarily understand where that's coming from because I feel like in this group, we've been voting for money that was already part of a budget line. Mm -hmm. um, right. Yes, we for transaction costs, we're voting- Oh, I see. That maybe yeah. it's different. Maybe it's more than just transaction costs that they're requesting in those. Yeah, so for for, outside of that. Right. So generally for um like I think Lake Eden so far is the only project for easement purchase that we've requested from the bond. We're gonna be taking um a project that will be requesting easement purchase from the bond fund for on June 4th. Um and so generally our transaction costs come out from the special program fund, which is our conservation easement fund, and then easement. There have been some easement purchase from the special program fund, but right now, because we have the bond, we are we're most of the easement purchase pro, um, requests will be from the bond fund. That thank you very much for that clarification. That I was really confused on that. Thanks. Well, uh, I, I, I'm still confused. So, so am I. The, the money we just approved, or the recommendation we approved to be sent to the commissioner, is that money coming from? a current line item in the county budget, or is that coming from the bond fund? That's coming from our program fund, the line item. So that's coming from our special conservation easement fund. Okay. That's... So, and, and this committee has not yet approved anything going through the bond front or from the bond front, is that correct? It has um, in the past, there's um, a lake a project called Lake Eden through Southern Appalachian Highlands Conservancy, um, and they had fun, ra they had raised funding through other avenues as well, and they had a little bit left over that they needed, or they had a little bit left that they needed to get to the finish line, and I think that was about two hundred thousand or or so two fifty two fifty um, that they requested from the bond fund for easement purchase. Okay, thank you. No problem. So currently, we we this this money we spent today. This is the last of the the seven hundred and fifty thousand. Correct. As part of a regular line item, and Correct. then we as a group were kind of anticipating that we would be part of this thirty million dollar bond fund, and from that we thought maybe they'd split it third, third, third. That was never clear, but yeah. we thought maybe we'd have ten million to look at uh, investing for the for the. The county, and so far we spent two hundred fifty thousand of that 
So we're, I just brought this up to show that our role is diminishing a little bit because funds are being spent without going through our committee or passive rec. Okay, that's all I point out. And it, and as Bob pointed out, we were all kind of taken aback on this, that there's only 10 million left of the 30 based on commitments and what was gonna go through uh, last night, uh, another 10 million. So I just wanted everybody to be aware you know yeah. the, and well, this 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 thing we got i can forward this to you nancy this uh presentation from jill it kind of lays out some of these numbers You'd probably be interested. I, i'd like you to do that but just so that i'm clear what i'm hearing is that there is now a separate um input into the process of getting county money and so we've got basically we've got passive rec we've got the ag board we've got lcab and now there's this other thing, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. And who's the other thing? Where? What I, process? I, we need we need clarity on that. There's wood right now. The current board of commissioners, uh, excuse, the approved commitments are for Woodfin Green Metway, uh, Parham Fortner Farm. I'm not sure if that went through Ag. Oh yes. Uh, the the Lake Eden Preserve. Our we did contribute to that. Anka Heritage Trail uh, conservation easements, 5.2 million. There's no detail on that. Anticipated commitments of 7.2 million. I think they, some some easements are are some of that. Proposed. Yeah. So some of that five million, or actually a lot of that five million, is um, proposed easements that we hope to bring to the board. We wanted to um, okay. allocate some of that money and reserve it, just because, like you said, a lot of that. Um, funding is being expended. And so we, and as you know, easements, there's uh, a longer timeline because they're more involved. So we wanted, we have projected, we have projects that we project to bring to the board. So we wanted to allocate that um, funding right now. That's great. There's also now what they voted on last night. And I don't know if anybody's heard, but the ferry road open space at 3 million and then Deaverview Mountain at 7.7 .7 million. Those are big chunks of the 30 million, mm -hmm. a third of it to these two projects. And those were things that the county did separately, right? Is that right, uh, Avni, that they reached yeah. out to the community and got input or some way, right? Is that? That's my understanding as well. But honestly, I think that's something that Jill would be able to better answer. Um, and we can have her, you know, I, we've had her come to the board and answer questions in the past. Um, and we can ask her to come and, and um, you know, answer any of these questions because I, I'm I have a gen some general understanding of some of this, but I don't know the details, so I don't want to say anything that might be wrong. Um, so we can have her come on and answer these questions. We should have her come to the next meeting because then I think some of this will hopefully be clarified because we expressed our desire to hear some clarification from the commissioners. And but are um, you saying that Jill also? From, Jill represents passive Rex, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that there is money being spent by the county even outside of her control. Well, yeah. Yeah, but to clarify, I mean, we're basically, I mean, we're just a recommending board. Um, That's right. So and she's, you she's, know, it was surprising, but they do have the prerogative to uh, let's call it earmark for lack of a better term, certain projects that a county commissioner might see as particularly relevant or important. And they would still, at the end of the day, even if we made a recommendation against it, have the ability to vote for that project okay. without our quote unquote consent. That's correct. Right, and Jill manages and tracks the funding in the bond, but um, she doesn't make the decision. So yes, right. Matt mentioned she, she has an understanding because she's tracking and managing all the funding. Um, and so she might be able to answer some of these questions, but yeah, ultimately um, the commissioners are, are um, making the final decisions and approving projects. Exactly. And, okay. they, they, and they don't have to take our LCAB recommendations either, but they, they just always better. have, I think. Okay, yeah. um, there's somebody who's uh, on iPhone 87, oh. I think that had some comments. Was that Lang or Stag? 
Okay, uh, I guess not. I, um, I've got to jump why? off, but I, I would like to make one comment since we, we, we do have a lot of questions about this passive thing, and hopefully it comes into better for clarification over the next month or two. Um, but, you know, let's say Lake Eden, for example, you know, we were able to approve certain funding as far as transactional costs through LCAP. And then a benefit of the bond was that they could request for a different type of funding to say, bring that to the finish line. So while we're having some concerns about what, how this bond thing is playing out initially or currently, you know, there I think is gonna be some flexibilities if we can keep it rolling and we don't spend it on, don't get any more <laughs> later, uh, to be able to kind of use different types of pots to fund or leverage some of these projects. So. I don't overall think it's a bad thing. I do think that there's some concern on my end about the fact that we're down to almost zero in the first year. Yeah. Um, and hopefully we get some clarification and movement on that. But I'd say in itself, I think having Jill be able to clarify some things and as we start to review some of these projects and see what they are, I think it could be a huge benefit and will be. It's just a matter of kind of wrapping our heads around it a little bit better. Okay, well. Uh, hey, Nancy. This is Lang. Yeah. Yes. Could you please, uh, when Robert sends you the PowerPoint, uh, could you share that with the rest of the board as well? I think that's, it, as long as, is that appropriate, Robert and Bob? Well, Avni, that's a good question from one board uh -huh. to another. Are we crossing lines here? Uh, we are a, we're a subcommittee of LCAB, as I understand it. Correct? So. Yeah, I think, um, was that presentation made public? Um, I'm going to have to jump off. Was. It was Sorry, part of the me. public meeting. Thanks. Good point. Thanks, Matt. Um, if, Hi, it's Matt. Part of, if it's part of the public meeting, I think it's, you know, um, I would check with Jill. We generally, it, depending on what the contents of the slides are, um, you know, we ask, say, the land trust if they're okay with us sharing it or something like that. So I would say double check with Jill to make sure she runs that subcommittee. Um, so I would say double check with Jill that you can share it. But I think it should be okay because it's just sharing it with this committee and it was made public. So yeah, if it was made public, we're good. <laughs> uh, we should be good. All right. But here's here. I, everybody who's brought this up that's been on this committee for a while remembers the day when we first started this committee. We the first three years um, were basically. Can somebody mute? Um, uh, the thing was, is that we were after the low hanging fruit and those first years of like 2004 through 2000, maybe seven. Um, you know, we had a lot of easements because all of a sudden we were being recognized. So I anticipate that this, this open passive use group is going to have the same thing. There's pro there's projects that they want to, they want to get in place immediately and then it'll hopefully it'll kind of calm down. Um, but that was the wild, wild west back then. And yeah. so we need, I mean, this committee, as a lot of the other organizations within the county um, uh, the committees, the advisory boards, we have gone through pains to get our process to the point where we know what's coming in and what we're doing and what's going out. And to me, this fourth bucket flies in the face of that, that at the whim of somebody, they can get something in front of the commissioners basically without much review. And we're back to where we were, you know, 20 years ago. Jess. Um, I just want to pipe in and say, I, I understand these concerns, but with deed review in particular, so SHC is extremely closely involved with that. And um, that's something that, as the bond was being developed and the concept of the bonds, we were already contemplating requesting funds for deed review. And it was sort of part of the possibility of that becoming a county park yeah. that the bond would be involved right. in that. So right. it was sort of um, from the inception of the bond concept already being discussed. So I, I understand concern about it not coming through proper channels and um, I'm not sure how that happened, but um, but just to say, it, it wasn't something that was um, a total curveball that came out of nowhere um, right. to absorb a lot of funds. Okay. Yeah, I don't think uh, 
I don't think, I mean, it's a good project and all that, definitely. I think it's mainly our th concern was that it, it wasn't uh, very clear in the county. It, I guess we, we learned yesterday too, that the third, third, third was never really in place. We all were kind of got that impression. So yes. that's all, yeah. it's all good and all. We just didn't learn it back in the past when we should have so that we right. would, these wouldn't be a surprise. Okay, so we will expect to get a copy of uh, Jill's presentation um, to our to me, and then I will shoot it out to all of you, so we'll we'll be able to see that. But also, this um, you know, I as chair would like to go back to Avni and say, I think it sounds like we just need some more clarification mm -hmm. on how this what I consider now a fourth bucket. And Jess, I understand the review because that's, I mean, we saw that. We knew about that one, um, but uh, uh, under a different name. Um, it was the Spidey Mountain back then. Okay, but that's I'm true. just saying, there, if there's other things that are kind of dropped, taking money out of the bucket, I think we all need to know about it. So, um, yeah, I can um, talk to Jill. And again, I really... I think it'd be best to get the clarification from her because she's managing all the funding. I don't want to speak out of turn. Oh, um, I understand. And so I'll um, ask her to join us the next meeting if she's able to. Um, and because, as you all know, she's going to be leaving the county soon. Um, and so hopefully she'll be around then. If not, we can get some answers and bring sure. her. Yeah, that's why I suggested the next meeting. She yes. said uh, yeah. she, she and the other staff said that her position is funded through August. So oh, she will great. be here. Right. Uh, okay. But but after she leaves, it's my understanding that 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 her responsibilities are going to be absorbed into other existing parts of the county. That's right. Yeah, so our, I mean, um, you know, we already have our system in place, and so we just continue what we've been doing. Um, and then I think um, Parks and Recreation Services will take on a lot of that, especially with the greenways and passive rec side of things. That's my understanding as of now. Okay, all right. So Park and Recs will basically become kind of the fourth bucket. Well, it's not really, I wouldn't consider it a fourth bucket because... Um, they're already kind of doing the parks and greenway side of things. Um, so it's, ju it's just being absorbed into their department for things they're already doing, kind of okay. similar to ours as well. Okay. The, rep the representative to the Passive Parks Subcommittee will be a parks and recreation person instead of okay. Jill, that's all. Okay. Okay, any other questions or comments? And Lang, thanks for bringing that up about sending it out to everyone. That's... That's good. Thank you. Well, yep. one well, thing, let me let me poke the bear one more time. When you get this, you'll see this ferry road open space. Have you ever heard about this, uh, yeah. Nancy? Have you are you aware of it? So my concern there is it's three million coming out of this bucket to, but it's part of a development. So there's developers and builders involved in it, and uh, you know they're going to get some benefit. I don't know that much about the project, but I guess I I'm not paying it's close part enough. Part of the affordable housing as well. Right, um, right, but there are builders involved and money to be made, and so these projects. This, I mean, am I just out of touch with what's going on in the county? I, I, I had no idea really what was going on there. And, no, and, you're you're right, along with the rest of us. You know, welcome to Buncombe County. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I I'm sorry, but this just smacks of what we went through ten years ago. So, Avni, that's just a comment that I know we're on public record, but I needed to say it. So, okay, anybody else, any other comments? Jacob, you got anything? Okay, Joel? No. Okay. All right, and then um, well, let me ask for a motion to adjourn this meeting and uh, we will meet again. Avni, when's our next meeting? Uh, let's see, it's going to be June. Um, June 19th. Okay, so it'll be after our celebration. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, good. Um, one thing I think, uh, well, Matt was a uh, Matt dropped off, but just to let you all know, um, we are going to honor our past chair, Albert Sneed, at this dinner. 
And um, I have uh, sent Avni and Ariel some pictures, gosh, from our first our first dinner out at, at Hickory Nutcap Farm uh, you know, on, in 2008. Uh, it's when we have a, we had a young Carl and a young Albert. And uh, so I've asked them to put those in the official presentation as placeholders. And David Gant's going to join us and he's going to actually give the presentation. Uh, but I just wanted you all to know that we, we are going to honor Albert who just passed away. And, um, you know, he was so important to this committee. And so that's, that's going to happen at the dinner. Uh, so yeah, I know I'm real excited about this. I'm, I'm excited that Gant is going to join us too. Cause he was, he and Albert were the, you know, they were the leaders of the pack and, and Bob Gale and Matt Fusco and, and our Karen Craig Nolan too. So, okay. Uh, can I have a motion to adjourn, please? I'll make a motion. Thank you, Bob Gale. A second. Second. Thank you, Robert and Joel. Okay. Uh, all right. We all are in favor. I Yes. Okay. Um, so I will see you all then at the dinner. And um, yeah, if there's anything that you've got questions about the dinner, we, you know, they, they are handling it all. It's, it's not Nancy and Christy Malir anymore. Mm -hmm. And um, it feels really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So we'll see you then next month um, at Flaxton Farms. Okay. Yep. Okay, congratulations, congratulations, Jess. Jess. Thank yeah, you. way to go. Go celebrate. Go, Jess. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.